right, this is Trout Pit and Tips. Welcome back. I think I'm gonna take some heat for this one, but I'm gonna say it anyway. Uh, reaching is one of the worst things you can do when tight line and you're nymphing. Reaching like this, having your arm extended, or casting like this, reaching and casting like this. It's just unnecessary and it's unsustainable. You can't do it all day. Um, it's also absolutely detrimental to a good tight line nymphing approach good casting, good drifting. It hurts you more than it helps you. So let's talk about it. All right, so I say that reaching is unsustainable uh, because it tires you out. Uh, nobody can do this all day long. Nobody can even do this for a couple hours at a time. Uh, it hurts the shoulder. If your shoulder hurts, you're really doing it wrong. Um, it's not even about the weight of the rod or the reel. You can buy the, buy the lightest rod and reel that you want, but it's still, your arm is hanging out there. And it's just too much strain on the shoulder to do it for very long. So you can do this, right? You can have your arm out and you're reaching, or you can do this, take one step forward and you can have your elbow down, which is better casting fundamentals, which we'll talk about in a minute. You can do this, or you can do this. Honestly, I understand we reach to get that extra distance, but if you just take a step forward and get the elbow down, you'd be in a lot better shape. Then the, the shoulder isn't doing the casting work, the shoulder isn't casting, but the elbow is doing the casting. Much more sustainable, it's much more enjoyable to go throughout the day and not be feeling like, oh, my casting arm hurts so bad, you know? You're gonna have better time, and really, you're gonna have better casting fundamentals. So let's talk about that. All right, so reaching hurts your body over time, hurts your shoulder, but it also hurts the cast, and hurts the drift. Uh, every fly casting instructor that I know teaches you to cast with the elbow in, the elbow down. So you're casting this way, you're casting here, you're casting here, not with your shoulder. No fly casting instructor teaches you, you know, to cast this way. It's with the elbow in, like this. The reason we do that is so the casting V stays fairly narrow. You know, 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock, the whole 10 o'clock, 2 o'clock thing. Um, if you start reaching like this and casting like this, you don't have, well, your, your casting V is going to open wide, um, and you're not going to have loops anymore. The casting V, we want to be narrow so that you build loops into the system. You've all seen it, loops up in the air, especially when we're false casting. Now when we're casting tight line nymph rigs, we're not doing a lot of false casting, but we still wanna build those loops into the, into the leader, into the system, into the cast. And here's why. There's a big difference between lobbing and casting. Right? I talk about this a lot. We still wanna cast these rigs, not just lob them in. Here's a lob, it goes in like this. The lob goes in like this. If you build loops into the system, the loop can unfold, the fly goes all the way out to the end, it can't go out anymore, so it, boom, it tucks down in. So it's a tuck cast. But the tuck cast isn't just a specialty cast to use once in a while. The tuck really is just a fly first entry, and that's what we want. The fly goes in, everything else stays up and out of the water. The fly goes in first, only what has to go in goes with it. This is again, all, all because we build loops into the system with the tight casting V and the elbow in. When that fly enters, only the material that has to go in goes with it. Everything else stays up and out of the water. That is what I call, is what I think of as the tight line advantage. Uh, we're tight line. We're trying to be tight to the fly. In most cases, almost all the time, we're trying to use that tight line advantage, not laying line on the water. But here's the thing. If you reach, you tend to lay the rod tip down, which lays line on the water. And that, then, yeah, you might go ahead and pick it up right away. But as soon as you lay line on the water, then you pick it up. Now you, you're going to drag that fly back. That's the bad thing about reaching. That's how it hurts the cast and then hurts the drift. All right, so I'm not saying that I never reach. It's just not my baseline approach. Yeah, sure, there are going to be some times when I go ahead and reach to get across an extra current seam. But I don't do it very often. I like to keep the elbow in for all the reasons we talked about. Reaching is just bad because it, it hurts your body and it hurts the presentation. 
So if your shoulder hurts at the end of the day, you're doing it wrong. If you're laying line on the water and then picking it up, you're doing it wrong. If you don't have good tight loops and a fly first entry, you're really doing it wrong. Um, so don't reach, get great turnover. Get the fly to go in, elbows down, tip stays up, you're gonna get a better presentation. So go catch a pile of fish, have fun. Don't, don't go, don't go putting that in there. All right.